Yes, yes, y'all. So um, we are back. This is DJ Cliff. You are checking out DJ Cliff Presents. It's the podcast where I have an opportunity to chop it up with people who uh, who I'm a fan of for the, the things that they do artistically as well as um, service-wise in the community. And it is my honor and pleasure to present to the audience Mr. Jake Espy. What's up, Cat? How you doing, man? I'm good, brother. I'm good, man. Thanks so much for for taking some time out your busy schedule to chop it up for a minute. I appreciate it, man. If you hear dogs barking in the background or uh, Tyson screaming just at home with the family, so I'm I always holding it down, fortunately. <laughs> <laughs> man, so a lot of stuff to get into, man, but um, just for, for starters, you and I have been connected for a minute, but I just want to give people an opportunity to, um, to just really get a sense of who you are, so um, and, and you've done so many different things that um, it, there's a lot of stuff to talk, to, to talk about, but I was first introduced to you um, just straight up as an artist, as an MC, when you were doing your thing as the kid Espy. And um, uh, I mean, that's that's kind of you know where where we first connected, man. Um, so I guess the first question, just get right into it. When is the next album dropping? Probably never. <laughs> I think <it> was... <laughs> Maybe I'll, I might make a song here or there, but yeah, as far as an album, I just don't see myself at any point having the the time or, or the want to commit that the amount of time to do a project uh, that I'd want I'd be proud of to present to the world. So I think that's part of my past. It was fun. I met a lot of awesome people. You know, great experience, great learning experiences, um, a lot of just great great journeys with friends. But at this point, I mean, I think that's that's probably part of my past at this point. Okay, you just had to get that out the way because you know. Um, that's, all, that's always my first question. When when are people dropping the next project? So right. people know what's up with that. Um, but that was a it was a pretty a pretty um, impactful thing that you did with your music, man. And um, a lot of people are probably familiar with the the single or the project Oregon Homeboy and kind of the impact that that had um, uh, regionally, you know, potentially even nationally, giving people a peek of of your view of being from Oregon. Yeah, definitely. That was a song that um, definitely was bigger than, than I was as, a, as an artist. I would do shows and people would kind of wonder, why are you doing that person's song? And then they'd realize it was my song or someone <laughs> to tell them that's his song. They wouldn't even know. They wouldn't even know being at the show. They just came with a friend or just happened to be there. Um, I mean, pretty much 90% of all my iTunes checks were from that single being sold. Um, it was a cool thing, it was a cool experience. I mean, definitely kind of just have a, an identity where people can kind of connect to a certain song that I wrote was was a lot of fun, definitely. And even now at work, you know, I work a day job at T-Mobile in a call center, and people come up to me, tell me that they had the, the, that song as their MySpace page song or whatever, the home <laughs> page song they, they used to do on MySpace. Um, so yeah, it's, it's cool. Definitely, it was a lot of fun. That's what's up, man. So kind of through that, um, you and I then connected on um, the next project that I really knew that you got involved with, which was the uh, We Out Here magazine, uh, We Out Here online magazine. Yeah. So kind of speak on, on that, where that came from. Was that something that just happened organically, or did you have that, that idea of uh, doing something that would really promote the Northwest scene? Yeah, I had the idea for the uh, the magazine um, probably a year before it actually got started. I bought the domain. I kind of got set up a little bit, um, and then a year later, I kind of decided it was kind of uh, time to start getting things in motion. I think it was probably March 2011, maybe 2012, sometime around there though. It was a little while ago. Um, yeah, it was that was a great. It kind of was something that it helped me combine a lot of the different skill sets that I had as far as with graphic design, with journalism, things I went to school for, marketing. Um, then just kind of uh, help me help a lot of people that I build close relationships with, um, giving them an opportunity for exposure on a on a, a blog or a website that I was proud of and I think was done to a level that a lot of um, regional websites weren't at that point. Um, there's a lot of great great things out there, but as far as things that recognize Northwest artists and are focused, at that time there wasn't really a lot. Which is which is cool because that was a conversation that. Um, you know, I had with a number of people in that there wasn't a sort of a central location that you could go to to find out, 
you know, who were some artists that were doing some things in the area, what were some events to go and check out, what were some new releases, and I think that that's one of the things that we out here started as has become and even grown into um, yeah. more so now. I mean, it's 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 pretty amazing how that is a central location for people to connect and, and build together. Absolutely, and I mean, huge shout out to Matt Smith, who's been running it for close to the last year, and I've kind of passed it on to him. I, it's not something I really spend time with any, any longer. Um, but it was it was an honor for me to have something that I created and started, and then have somebody else um, step in and want to kind of take that over. And and he's he's done a great job with it as far as getting more people involved. Um, you know, putting events together. He had an awesome barbecue, three on three basketball tournament. Yeah. It was a huge success. I wish I could have made it to it. Um, but yeah, he's just doing a lot of great things, man. So I mean, huge shout out to him. He's a great person, and you know, I'm really I feel blessed to have someone like that take something over that I was started. I mean, my friend Andrew a few years ago. No doubt, no doubt. So then, you know, kind of the next thing that 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 I saw happen. One of the one of the other things I saw happen, um, and initially saw it through. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but saw it through. We out here was Northwest Legend. Um, I believe that Northwest Legend um, sold their first T-shirt um, through a link on We Out Here. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, we did. We, um, I was, I was looking for a way with we out here to try to find some way to generate a revenue. Um, we tried to add sales. We had some people like yourself support. You know, a few artists in the area like Maddie and Max Q, who would, uh, which showed us support financially, which was awesome, kind of helping us. You know, keep keep things running without having to invest money we would earn and um, could potentially use towards my family or, or building something else. Um, and so we were trying to find a way to, to, to bring in uh, some sort of revenue, and uh, we had an idea to start our own kind of T-shirts, just sell them. Um, and then I started working with my family, my brother um, Matthew and my dad David, and we had an idea to, uh, to start a clothing brand that would help um, fund a local food bank. So we started first running with Oregon Food Bank, and we kind of used We Out Here as a, an exposure opportunity where we would just put the link on the website and kind of share it with that audience. And just kind of having that audience already built helped us get some momentum just right out the gate with the Northwest Legend Project. Yeah, yeah. And kind of speak on that, like just the the title of the or, – or the that that name, Northwest Legend, where does that come from? Um, I mean, really just about people in the area being focused on the community, being passionate about things that you do, being passionate about your community. It's really something that anybody can do. It's just a mindset of, of – taking those first steps and, and making it happen and really we feel that's that's what being a legend is all about are the people who are who have ideas who are passionate about something who want to help the community um, I think that's the first step is have the want but really to kind of take that next step and, and start putting things in action and helping people out is really where the, where the, the legend piece comes in okay okay so then again correct me if I'm wrong but at some point Northwest legend became Northwest legend 115 is that right yeah, yeah. So we uh, we had Northwest Legend. We added the one one five, which is uh, just kind of our motto: one shirt can help feed one kid for five days. Um, I got so we, you. we we donate a lot of the money that we make. I mean, we don't make a ton of money off of the the shirts that we sell. It's really not about that. I have a day job. It's not something that we're looking to turn into a um, into a job. You know, it's yeah. just kind of a side project. It lets me use a lot of the skill sets that I've developed um, as a creative outlet. Um, at the same time, we're able to do a lot of good for a lot of people. That's what's up, man. Okay, so so now we know one one shirt for one. Was it now one shirt for one kid? One shirt can help you one kid for five days. That's what's up, man. That's yeah. what's up. And then there's um, it's not like there's a million of these of these designs out there. So is the idea to uh, to make it exclusive each each design that you folks do? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, right now, um, I'm not sure this is how it will always be. Right now, we, we definitely are very exclusive with our designs. We do these, we're, uh, one different design every month. It's available for two weeks, and, and that's, that's the only chance you have to get it as well as for sale for those two weeks. Um, then after that, you're waiting for the, the next design to come out. So I think that's something that's really going to help our brand stand out as well, where there really is a, a very small window to, to purchase these items. That's what's up, man. And I think that is that is a really cool idea to have it exclusive, not to be exclusive of people who um, who are becoming a part of it, but Absolutely. to to really give people an opportunity to be a part of something special and unique. So um, I think it's really really cool. 
if people want to um, to to go and check out the designs or get more info on uh, on Northwest Legend, let them know where they can do that at. Um, NWLegend115.com. Okay. And I'm glad you called that out as far as not being exclusive as far as who can be involved or who can wear the shirts because, I mean, you really hit it on the head. It really isn't about a certain religion that's getting behind this or a certain age group or a certain demographic. It's just more about humanity, just people helping people. That's really what we want to be focused on. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Speaking with Jake Espy, um, there is a link on the, the DJ Cliff website on the community section. And if you go to the website, you can click on that link, and it'll take you right to uh, to the Northwest Legend page. And like Jake said, man, you have to uh, stay connected because the shirts that come out, they're going to be coming out, but they're going to be available for a short time. So you definitely want to uh, see what's up and try to add to your collection. Definitely. Yeah, there's some people that are out there buying every shirt, and we really we really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. No doubt. The, the idea of creating... Uh, a, a product that people will get behind and represent and having that be a part of real community and when I think when I say real community I mean a part of donating funds to um, to the Oregon Food Bank I mean where did that come from? Uh, well we started with the Oregon Food Bank originally we uh, we kind of have moved now we're focused more on the Marion Polk Food Share okay um, I guess, so where did the idea to work with them specifically come from? yeah yeah so, um, right, I've really been trying to get people in Salem involved. And so we offer free shipping. If you order in the Salem Kaiser area, you know, we're not going to charge you for shipping. Um, we're going to start looking into putting some events together. We just want to encourage people in Salem Kaiser to get out, be a part of things, um, start your own things, you know what I mean? Start your own side projects, use your passions in a, in a positive force. Just, we see, just, I see a lot of people, you know, kind of sitting around. They have ideas that are really inspired for. Occasionally inspired, you know what I mean. Occasionally yeah. motivated, um, but what's really going to kind of help push people to the next level where they're trying to create a change that they want to see. That's what's up, man. Speaking with Jake Espy, so um, be on the look definitely for for info on events, and we'll definitely keep folk updated on um, on when those when those announcements come through. So the the most recent design that you folks put out was the feminist design. Yeah. And I want to give you an opportunity to speak on that, where that came from, and um, uh, yeah, just speak on that for a bit. Yeah, uh, I think it goes back to kind of the, uh, the humanity piece that we were talking a little bit earlier about um, where, I mean, even in the year 2014, I think there's this kind of idea that some people have that things are as good as they're going to get or things are equal, but it's, I mean, you look at numbers, you look at statistics, and of course there's going to be different reasons, different numbers can be skewed a little bit, but I mean, you still have a, we're still living in a, a society where the majority of CEOs and major corporations, they're, they're male, they're white males, you know what I mean? And uh, I think that really is going to hold us back as a, as a, as a civilization, as, as people, if we have a certain type of person that's leading the way, because you're not getting the best ideas out of everybody. You're getting the best ideas out of a certain type of people who, may, who were probably brought up in a similar way. Um, and so I think it's just really, it really is about being equal. I think the word feminist as well kind of has a connotation where people feel like it's a man-hating word. Or if you're a feminist, you don't like men. Um, but that's that's really not what the other word's about. It really is about equality. That's what's up, man. So it was interesting, and... Um... You know, you. I guess we can. We can always often expect this with projects that we do, and we're trying to um, really do good things. One of the things that I thought was interesting was I saw a post. Uh, someone responded to the release of the feminist shirt, and responded um, in my words negatively. That you know, they, they made it. They made. They came across as as if they'd been supporting Northwest Legend one one five for a minute, and they didn't want to get behind the feminist t-shirt or the feminist sweatshirt um, you know which I think is a shame but how do you I guess what do you do with that do you uh, do you respond to that do you try to explain um, the idea behind the feminist or do you just let that ride um, I think that we briefly responded we had some emails as well that were kind of similar where people were weren't super happy with with the shirt and you know, um, 
they kind of thought it was a direction that we were headed as a company. I'm not sure what direction they thought we were headed. Yeah. But it really was just kind of an education piece where this is what it's about. We can't make everybody happy, unfortunately. You know, we may put out some things. We, we want us to be a positive company, you know, feeding people that are not hungry. I feel as a pretty – it's an idea that most people will get behind and aren't going to gonna argue that it's something that, that isn't necessary. Um, but, yeah, with the feminist piece, I, I, I think it did become a kind of a conversation – starter, which was awesome for our company, um, where we had people kind of talking about an idea because of something that they saw on, on our social media channels or on our website. Um, and so that was nice. And so I think that any time that you – we may have upset a couple people, but hopefully at the same time it kind of made them take a step back and kind of look into what an idea really is about rather than looking at their what they, what they believed it was about previously. Yeah, and I think that's, um, that is, that's an amazing thing to do to be able to take – these opportunities to educate people and hopefully, like you said earlier, kind of change the mindset and let people see that things shouldn't necessarily be status quo because we've we've always done things just because that's the way we were raised or whatever the case may be. Absolutely. To give people uh, an opportunity to to educate themselves and make their own decisions, and um, I think that's a that's a, a great way to to make change. Definitely. Definitely. I know that uh, you mentioned it a bit with some of the other projects that you've worked on, but um, I want to give you an opportunity to maybe shout out some of the people who are a part of the Northwest Legend team. I mean, that's one of the things I've watched as you've done stuff over the years is that you surround yourself with good people um, who who uh, who really help help you succeed with the with the goals that you've set. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, right now, really, is um, myself, uh, my brother, and my dad. We all kind of run different roles. Our dad really helped us get started, um, and uh, I mean, it really is me kind of running and pushing it um, right at this point. My brother is going to help out with some video projects. He has an awesome thing that he's running right now. He does a Salem Hoops project, which is a free bas a series of free basketball clinics mm -hmm. provided to people in uh, Northeast Salem. If you're from the Salem area, that is kind of it's definitely one of the lower income communities, and so it's awesome to have a positive outlook. They're doing a great thing at the McKay High School area kind of building a culture around basketball where there is a positive outlet available. Um, encouraging people you can go to college is something that's achievable. You can get your college paid for. There's scholarships out there. And so they're doing a really good job with the culture. Um, so it's going to be fun to see the change that comes in the coming years with so many people being invested in something positive like that. And that's kind of the same mindset that we have with the Northwest Legend um, company. Hopefully we evolve to be more than just a t-shirt company in the future. You know, um, there's a lot of things that we, we like to aspire to do and, and changes that we like to see happen. Um, I think this is a good start to kind of get people familiar with the idea um, and the culture that we're trying to create. That's what's up, man. I think that um, I think you're definitely on the way and, and uh, you know, happy to be able to, to help spread the word and, and get behind what you're, what you're doing. Thank you, you, man. It's a, oh, yeah. It's very much appreciated, man. You're always one of the first people out the gate ready to support, you know. Um, and it's it's not always easy, you know, finding time out of your day to help somebody else out, but you're consistently doing it, man. And, and I hope you know how appreciated you are. Well, thanks, brother. But, you know, it's really it truly is about community. I mean, I think that's what community is. It's, it's each one of us looking for um, an opportunity to use the gifts that we've been given for the greater good. And I think if we, you know, if we all work together, then we can really, we can really truly make some positive, some positive changes and impact, uh, you know, impact our community in a really, really, Absolutely. in a real way. Absolutely. You've been, um, aside from, I mean, just this, just working on the Northwest Legend Project, um, I think that's a testament to your character, but um, even other things that I see you doing, um, even things that you post on social media about um, your, your, your nine to five work, you seem to look to really inspire people. And um, I think that, that one of the places it really comes across in is the website. The website is, is uh, jacobespinoza.com. You want to speak on that right quick? Yeah, uh, I wish I had more time to focus on that. It was I um, kind of occasionally there, then I'll kind of step away and find some other things, and I'll go back to it when I'm inspired. Um, but just a personal blog is kind of a, just an online resume where I get to share some ideas that I have, things that I'm doing at work that, that's helping keep myself motivated, things that are keeping my team motivated. And it's just kind of a way to keep my name out there. Um, I've really been working on kind of rebranding myself from being the kind of party hip-hop guy to now want to be focused more on the kind of the community-minded motivational type of person, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Was it, um, did you, maybe a year ago, maybe it was longer, did you put together 
um, a, a conference for um, young young business people? We put a, a marketing conference together, and that was that was a lot of fun. We had uh, some kids, some kids from the high school high school kids in the area, some kids from Willamette University came through, and uh, we had speakers, um, you know, people from Brand Jordan, uh, Nike. We had a teacher, um, Kelly Matthews from University of Oregon, who I knew as a student student there. Um, and then a few other University of Oregon graduates are now in the PR fields in different places in Portland and San Francisco, and it was a it was a great conference. I mean, I think people that came really got a lot lot out of it. Uh, we just had some great speakers, and we we were blessed to have everybody donate their time to to come out and and kind of expose people in Salem to something that that maybe they weren't before. They may not have known that those type of careers were available. Right, right. Um, and is that something that you look to do more of? Absolutely. I mean, that's definitely something we like to do, um, God willing, you know, just kind of find a way to, to make things work, get the right people in place. But absolutely, those are the type of events we definitely want to, to be part of. But there is a focus on building, um, exposing people to new ideas and, and, and different ways to be successful and, and maybe even different definitions of what success is. That's what's up, man. Chatting up with uh, with Jake Espinoza. Um, so you talked about um, possibly doing some some events to uh, kind of going back to the Northwest Legend piece. Will you um, continue to use music at all in in uh, in things that you do going going forward? Maybe not just maybe not as a performer, but you're so you're so well connected with so many local musicians and so many local artists. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, definitely. I feel like there's a always going to be a place for, for music. I'm still looking. I like to help people out, you know what I mean, um, get their name out there. So I, I'm always looking for opportunities to bring people that I know and find a place for them to, to be exposed to, a, to potentially a new market. We had uh, Malik Parker Hill, who's an artist from Salem that's really been working, networking, getting his name out there. Um, but he has great music. You know, I, I love him. He's a great performer as well. Mm-hmm. And he helped out. He modeled for our, our last year at the Feminist Design. Then he ended up wearing the design in his music video. We were That's able awesome. to kind of uh, that, that was awesome, man. That's pretty exciting to see our clothing and, and videos and things like that. Um, and so yeah, hopefully we'll find an avenue for uh, for people to be able to perform and kind of share their music, um, different events that we have. So we'll kind of see how that will play out depending yeah. on the event. No doubt, no doubt. Aside from um, the the obvious way of supporting the shirts as they come out and. Um, you, you spoke on the the hope to do even more moving forward. Um, what are some other ways that people can get involved in in what you're doing in terms of supporting um, supporting the community, supporting positive things? Absolutely. I mean, uh, I guess the easiest way is get involved in our social channel, just at NW Legend One One Five on a on Twitter and Instagram, the Northwest Legend One One Five on Facebook. Let people know about what we're doing. You know, talk about it. Um, and I mean, even just get involved with the Marion Polk Food Bank or just different different nonprofits in the area. There's a lot of people out there doing good work, and everybody can use a helping hand. Uh, I mean, we also I mean we're doing one design a month. So if you have artists in the area that that want like to donate some work or donate some time, we'd love to have it. We have photographers helping out, which is great, uh, helping us you know put together quality products, even though we can't necessarily pay them back at this point. You know, we don't really have a budget for a for professional photo shoots, but luckily, just with my network, I, we have some some great people that have offered to help. Um, and I mean, yeah, if you look, like to get in help, reach out. Let me know what your skill set is, what you'd like to do, and uh, you know, I'm sure we can find a place for you. Absolutely, no doubt. As you've as you've sort of been on this journey, um, getting to where you are now, speak a bit on on um, some of the ways that you may have seen the community aspect grow. You know, you've again, you have had. Um, the 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 ear of a lot of people for a minute first through the music that you did and then through the magazine and now in another avenue a way to reach people um, ha- have there been opportunities where you've sort of seen things come 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 full circle maybe somebody that you connected with um, in one fashion that saw your passion for community now that you you sort of planted that seed and now you see it growing in them yeah definitely I feel um... I'm trying to think, I want to make sure I answer this correctly here. But one person that I really, um, I guess, have been inspired by as far as seeing a work ethic um, is Maddie from Salem, who's an artist. He uh, he's somebody that started out. He was coming to my shows. Um, he started making music, 
wasn't the best music, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and people were not, for whatever reason, with Maddie, people were not at all afraid to tell him exactly how they felt about his music. But yeah. I mean, he never, he never let it get him down, you know what I mean? He's all, he still stayed motivated. Um, he puts out, I, I enjoy his music at this point. I can say that honestly, I'm not going to say I always felt that way. Yeah. We all, we all started at the, we all had our starting places, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, and then now he's, he's helping Max Smith out with, we out here. You know, he's somebody that really is a good, does a good job of networking and kind of getting out of, out of his bubble and out of his comfort zone. So, I mean, that's somebody that's really been fun to kind of see his career, um, you know, go where it's at now. And I'm excited to see where it's headed. You know, he has new music coming out soon. He always lets us know on Facebook he's got new music coming out. So I'm excited to hear what the, uh, the new projects sound like. Yeah, yeah, he's. I've had. I've been blessed to have the opportunity to to um, host him on on the radio show. Welcome to the neighborhood, and he always makes a uh, makes a great effort to, um, uh, aside from just supporting his hometown of Salem, um, but but when he's whenever whatever he does, whether it be performing, I know when he's come on the radio show, he comes through, and he's always uh, very professional, very prepared, um, and then does a great job of of really. Not just promoting himself, but promoting the scene. So, shout out to Maddie, and then again, shout out to you for having that uh, that positive influence on a younger artist who, like you said, is now coming to his own. I think that's um, it's a testament to um, you know just again to your character. Absolutely, thank you, man. You Absolutely, fun. for sure, for sure. Just chopping it up with uh, with with Jake Espy. Um, I, I always. You and I have had an opportunity to talk a couple times uh, prior to, and once again, I um, I'm I'm grateful for having you um, support Welcome to the Neighborhood in uh, in a number of ways, being a guest on the show and and through some of the other things that you did, like the We Out Here magazine. So I just want to say a personal thank you, and I've said this to you before. If if there's any way, if there's some hidden, some unreleased material from the Wright <laughs> Family project, which was a dope project that I think everybody thank needs you, to go and check out. Um, you. you know, let me know, and I will definitely share that with the masses, man. That's what's up. Yeah, we need to. I need to link up with JG again and, and make something happen. That was a really fun. That's definitely the project I'm most proud of. That that we met, um, that we ever, that I've ever been a part of. Um, yeah. That was a lot of fun. Terminal and all the beats recorded at, at Momentum Studio with Zeb Dax. We had a lot of different people and the, the community involved in it. And yeah, that was that was a party we definitely spent a lot of time before we even started writing it. What's this project going to be about? What ideas are we trying to express? We had a, a storyline which um, may, may or may not be crazy. It's probably a pretty tough storyline to follow. Yeah. But, um, but I think it kind of helped give some keep substance in all the songs that we were making. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's a it's an amazing project. It's the right the right family project, and um, uh, I think everybody needs to go check for that. Um, man, I think that uh, we touched on a lot of stuff. Now I know that. There is that the new design for the next Northwest Legend 115 T-shirt has been um, decided decided on. I don't know that it's been announced yet. I don't know if you want to make that announcement. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna release October first. That's gonna be okay. the release date. We're gonna try to keep it consistent. The first of every month, we have the new design, and we're really on, with this one. Just kind of letting everybody know what we're about and uh, and what what the mission is. That's what's up. That's what's up. So y'all be on the look for the new design. Like I said, there's a link on the DJ Cliff website, or you can just go straight to NorthwestLegend115.com um, and uh, and really get involved, get behind the movement to make a difference uh, in the community. Um, man, thank you so much, brother. Anything else that we need to that we need to let people know about? No, man, we're we're good. I appreciate you taking the time. God is good. My wife is awesome. Tyson's grandma is awesome. Holding it. What help and watch the kid so I get my Northwest Legend and my side projects off the ground. So I appreciate it, man. I got a lot of support behind me. It's, it's a beautiful thing. That's what's up, man. Jake Espinosa, man. Connect with him on social media. Um, support the movement, Northwest Legend 115, and uh, be a part of the community. And let's let's uh, let's make a difference, man. Thank you again so much, man. God be with you, and uh, look forward to connecting again real real soon. I appreciate, it, man. God bless. All right, brother. Peace.